Saudi Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Wednesday, July 26th. Don't forget to vote in our latest online poll asking you what Phuket should do about the deadly Patong Hill Road. Head to the PhuketNews.com to have your say. Now here's the news you need to know. Calls for a thorough investigation into the death of 27-year-old Canadian Matthew Richardson are being made by Patong Police Chief. Richardson was a well-respected Muay Thai fighter who had fought in promotions around the world, winning championship titles around the region, including last week in Malaysia, in addition to local titles at Bangla and Patong stadiums here in Phuket. He was found dead at his rental home in the hills in the back of Patong by his girlfriend on Monday morning, face down in the bathroom, and police say his body is being checked by doctors at a forensic laboratory in Suratani Hospital to learn the exact cause of death, though no signs of struggle were found on his body or at the home. Meanwhile, an outpouring of condolences and love for the Canadian have been making the rounds online by friends and fans all over the world, including several former one-time opponents who had later become friends with the gregarious Richardson. He'll be dearly missed and had gone way too soon. Rest in peace, Matthew. And the Migrant Worker Registration Center for Phuket is now open and will remain so for 15 days until August 7th. The center, which is at the indoor stadium in Sapan Hin on the outskirts of Phuket town, it's been set up by officials as a way to clarify the new laws concerning the management of migrant workers to officials, all in an effort to handle the registration process. The center is just one of the 101 centers set up nationwide, all meant to receive migrant worker registrations, following the new rules that are meant to rid Thailand of illegal laborers, provide legal certifications to workers, and punishes employers who don't comply. The new center will be set up until August 7th and will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. daily. And researchers and professors at the Thammasat University are proposing a change in the law that would allow Thais to choose their gender they identify with on their national ID cards. The suggestion was made through a joint research program between the Faculty of Social Administration and the Faculty of Law at Thammasat, claiming that their proposal would minimize the risk of unequal treatment and provide better legal protection to Thais who identify with another gender. The law would affect their legal obligations, including military conscription, making it easier for individuals to file formal complaints of abuse to relevant committees as well. For the full story, visit thepuketnews.com. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. One billion Thai baht, or about 30 million US dollars worth of methamphetamine tablets, crystal meth, and liquid ketamine are now off the streets following raids in houses all over Bangkok this past week. Police announced a massive haul yesterday and they say the drugs are connected to suspected Laotian drug kingpin Kaisana Kelpimpa, dubbed Mr. X by police, who is the alleged mastermind of a massive drug network connecting the Golden Triangle of Northeast Myanmar, Northern Thailand, and parts of Laos with the southern part of Southeast Asia. Nine people were arrested in the two-day operation, all of them ties, and police seized 7 million Yaba meth pills, about 60 kilos of crystal meth, and thousands of bottles of liquid ketamine, according to AFP. Police from the Narcotic Suppression Bureau say that the drugs were kept in warehouses in Bangkok and that they are connected to Kel Pimpa, who is currently sitting in Thai prison awaiting trial after he was picked up at a Bangkok airport back in January. And the land of smiles is home to the best food in the world, Masaman Curry, that's according to CNN's updated list of the world's top 50 foods. The spicy, coconutty, sweet dish, which is a coconut-based meat curry, well, it's been dubbed the king of all curries by CNN writers, coming in ahead of Italy's Neapolitan pizza in second, Mexican chocolate in third, and sushi from Japan in fourth. But the CNN readers poll, which was voted on by the public, they say Tom Yam Kung is the best from Thailand, calling it the fourth best dish in the world, followed by Pad Thai in fifth place and Som Tap Papaya Salad in fifth place. Masaman Curry came in tenth in the readers poll. What do you think? Let us know what your favorite Thai dishes are in the comments below. 
Well, that's it for Puka Extra today. From all of us here at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.